I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today we are gonna make an apron. This apron is unisex, so everybody can wear it. And it makes a great gift to give because everybody can wear it. And it's gonna look something like this. I'm loving this top stitched apron with two pockets. So cool. So let's get to making it. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all of my new videos come out. And I'm doing something really awesome right now. I'm teaching virtual sewing lessons. And it can be with any project that you're working on. So you choose your project, tell me how many hours you want help with it, sign up on my website, and I will help you from my design studio to your sewing room. And all the information for that is gonna be down below. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need your favorite scissors. You're also going to need some pins. And if you're using a rotary cutter, make sure you also have a rotary mat. And this time we're going to need two D-rings. You're going to need some contrasting stitching. And we're going to be using the serger. If you don't have a serger, you can totally use your zigzag, but four spools of serging thread for the edges. And for this project, you're going to need a yard of fabric. I'm going to be using a gray twill, so something medium weight. And to create this project, you're also going to need a pattern. I have a four piece apron pattern for sale on my website that I designed, so cool. So you can find that in the digital downloads. The first thing we're gonna do is lay out our fabric and we're gonna place right sides together and make sure you're matching your selvages. So I've got my fabric laid out with my two selvages together here. So it's really important that your selvages are together because we're going to be cutting out our pattern on our grain line, which is parallel with our selvage. So this pattern is gonna be place on fold for center front here. So this pattern here is just half of our apron. So make sure it's placed on fold so that way when you open it up, you have a full apron. Now grab your rotary cutter and let's cut it out. Let's remove our weights and check out the front of our apron. Let's open it up. There we go, we got a front of an apron. Kiss the cook. Now grab the waist tie part of your pattern and we're gonna cut out two. I've got my waist ties laid out here and weighted and the fabric is two layers. So I'm gonna cut once and it's gonna give me two ties. Okay, now we have two waist ties, one for the right and one for the left. Now grab your pocket pattern and we're gonna cut it out. This is just cut one, so make sure you pull back your fabric so you just have one layer of fabric because we've been cutting two layers. So I have this laid out on just one layer of fabric and I'm ready to cut it out. And here's my pocket. So I'm gonna place the end of my pattern piece here that says unfold directly on the fold. And when we open this up, this is gonna give us one long piece for the neck. So now when we remove our pattern weight and our pattern and we open it up, we have one long piece. Now you should have all of your pattern pieces cut out that I have here. So we have our pocket, our neck strap, our waist ties, and our apron. Next, we're gonna finish our edges. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna serge around the body of the apron and the pocket, and then our straps, I'm actually gonna serge those together. So let's set up the serger and get this apron sewn up. Also, if you don't have a serger, no worries. Go ahead and finish your edges with an overcast stitch or a zigzag. Or if you wanna get real fancy, you could bias bind all your edges. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S400. You can use any serger that you have or a zigzag or an overcast stitch. The first piece I'm gonna serge is going to be the pocket. So grab your pocket and let's serge around all four sides.
When you get to the corner, make sure you stop. Make sure your needles are up. Lift up your foot and turn your corner. So unlike a sewing machine, you need to make sure your needles are up when you turn, not down. So your edges should look nice and finished like this. Now let's go ahead and grab all of our straps. And what we wanna do is put right sides together and make some tubes. So first I'm gonna do the next strap. I'm gonna place right sides together and I'm gonna sew all the way down and then I'm gonna close one short side so that way I can put the tube turner in it and turn it right side out. So let's serge it up. So I have my right sides together. I'm gonna line up the edges, lift up my foot and place it in right before the needles. And let's sew up the edge. Now let's go ahead and lift up our foot and sew up this short side. So your end should look something like that. Now grab your waist ties and let's do the exact same thing to each waist tie. Now that we have all three straps sewn together, let's go ahead and grab the body of our apron and serge all the way around the outside. Now that we have all of our pieces serged, let's grab your chalk and we're gonna mark where our pocket goes. You're gonna have three dots on your pattern, one, two, and three, and I want you to take the chalk and make a mark where that little dot is. Because this is gonna be where our pocket gets placed. So if we pull this back, you can see your chalk marks. If you want, go ahead and make them a little bolder. And then I want you to go ahead and flip your pattern the other way so that way you can mark the other side of your apron. There we go. Now we know exactly where our pocket is going to be placed on the front of our apron. So now that we're here at the table, I wanna go ahead and turn all my tubes right side out. So I grab my tube turner, which is a blue plastic tube and a wood stick. What do you want to call this? Also looks like a chopstick, right? Okay, so grab your wood stick and your blue plastic tube. And we're going to turn some tubes. So take the blue tube and stick it into the fabric tube. And we're going to push it all the way down to the bottom. So this is why we closed one end. And now you're going to go ahead and take the wood stick, poker, chopstick, whatever you want to call it and push it into the blue tube. And go ahead and keep doing this until you get to the very top. And then when you finally find the top of it, go ahead and hold it and pull that blue tube down and then it's magically gonna turn out your tube right sides out. So cool. I love this tool. If you don't have one yet, you have to add this to your sewing basket because it saves so much time for turning tubes. And then you just go ahead and find the wooden stick inside and you've got a tube turned right side out super fast. Now go ahead and do this to the other two tubes that you have. So I have my apron laid out with all of the straps and the pockets so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look. So when we go over to the sewing machine, we're gonna turn under the edges of our pocket and then we're gonna top stitch it onto the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna top stitch our tubes. And then we're gonna end up sewing our tubes to the very top edge of our apron. And then we're also going to sew our apron strap down on one side. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach the two D-rings to one side so that way you can adjust your neck strap. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and turn under the edges of the entire apron. And then we're done. So let's go over to the sewing machine and finish this apron. Today I'm gonna be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2, but you can use any sewing machine with a straight stitch. The first thing I'm gonna do is edge stitch all the way around all three tubes. So you have your necktie and your two waist ties. So go ahead and stitch all the way around the edges of them. I'm gonna do this an eighth of an inch from the edge, making it an edge stitch. I'm using the A foot and I'm gonna line up the edge of my fabric with this small inner right angle. This is gonna provide a guide for our edge stitch, so that way we're stitching an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric and this is gonna make our straps nice and flat. Look at how nice that looks. So I have my edge stitch on both sides of the strap and the finished end. So we're gonna leave this raw edge open so that way we can stitch it to the apron. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing to your other two waist ties. Now we have all of the edge stitching done on all of the straps and it looks so nice in this contrast stitching. So I totally suggest trying a contrast stitching. Next, I want you to grab your pocket and we're gonna go ahead and flip under the edge 3 eighths of an inch and top stitch it down all the way around on all four sides. So I have the edge turned in 3 eighths of an inch and let's go ahead and top stitch it down. So I'm gonna line up the edge of my fabric with the second right angle inside the A foot to the right. When we get to the end, we're gonna back stitch, cut, and then when we turn it, we wanna just fold it in that 3 eighths and let's go ahead and start again. Make sure you back stitch. Now we have a beautiful top stitch all the way around the outside of our pocket. Now grab your pins and let's lay the pocket on the marks on our apron and pin it down. So use these marks on your apron to line up your pocket and then go ahead and pin your pocket onto the front of your apron. You're also gonna pin the short sides of your pocket, but you don't need to pin the top because, well, we're not gonna sew the top of our pocket down. Okay, now that we have this pinned down, let's go ahead and give an edge stitch all the way around the three sides. So short side, long side at the bottom, and the other short side. Make sure you leave this top open. Now we're gonna line up that edge of our pocket with that first right angle inside the A foot. Make sure you back stitch. When you get to the corner, make sure your needle's in the fabric, lift up your foot, and then turn. Back stitch at the end, and cut. Now we have the pocket sewn down on three sides. It's looking great. But what I would like to do is add a line of stitching down the center so that way we end up with a small pocket on the right and a small pocket on the left. So grab your chalk and your ruler and let's draw a line to follow. So go ahead and find the center of your pocket. You should have a mark already on your fabric from the pocket placement. And let's line up the straight edge of a ruler with the bottom of the pocket and go ahead and draw all the way up. Now that we have our line mark, let's go ahead and sew right down it. Super easy. Back stitch at the beginning. Let's make sure you back stitch at the end as well. And cut. 
Now let's place our waist straps on. So grab your waist strap and the front of your apron and let's line it up. So you're gonna measure down three eighths from the top and then we're gonna go ahead and pin the strap down. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now grab your neck strap and we are gonna cut two inches off the top of it. So go ahead and mark two inches and cut it off. What? It's okay, don't worry. Now I want you to go ahead and grab both of your D-rings put them together and slip the two inches onto the D-rings. So now they're like that. So now we're going to line up this loop with the D-rings on it, three eighths inch away from the side edge, but all the way flush with the top. Let's go ahead and put a pin in this to keep this in place. And now on the other side of the apron, we're gonna take the other raw edge and we're gonna place it three eighths inch away from the edge and flush with the top and then go ahead and put a pin in it. Now we're on our last step. All we need to do is turn over the edge three eighths of an inch and top stitch everything down. And because we have all of our strap ends pinned down, when we turn them under, it's going to catch them and they're going to be sewn down. It's like two steps in one. So I have the right side of the fabric face down and now I'm going to flip it back the edge, the 3 8 of an inch, so that way I can top stitch. Now what I'm gonna do is line up the left edge of my fabric here with the left side of the A foot. Make sure you back stitch at the beginning. Make sure you take out your needle before you get to it so you don't sew over it. Just keep turning under the edge of your apron 3 8 of an inch. When you get to the end, go ahead and back stitch, and then you're gonna start on the next side. So you're gonna go ahead and top stitch around the whole entire apron just like this. Notice how it caught our D-rings in place and our neck strap. So let's go ahead and do the rest. We did it, we finished. So we did that last little top stitch all the way around and now you can see how nice the edges are finished. I'm loving the contrasting stitching on this and the adjustable necktie. This is really nice so that way anybody in the kitchen can feel comfortable wearing the apron. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions on how to make this apron or download the pattern or anything like that, make sure you leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at sewanastasia.com and anastasiachatska.com. And don't forget, I'm now doing virtual sewing lessons and in-person socially distanced sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago. And if you want to help support Sew Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon and check out all the ways you can help Sew Anastasia grow. And don't forget to check me out on all the other social media platforms like Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook and yada yada yada. I'm on all of those. I would love to see all of your apron projects, so make sure you tag me at Sewy Anastasia so I can repost and share them in my social media and on Instagram stories, or you can even shoot me over the pictures of your work through my DMs on Facebook or Instagram as well, and I'll repost them. I love sharing your creativity with everybody else. Thanks so much for watching, bye!